we are going to look at another way of establishing the rules of multiplying together positive and negative numbers. We are going to build up a pattern that shows the product of the numbers multiplied together. First, let's look at an example of a positive number multiplied by a positive number. Positive 9 multiplied by positive 3. This gives a product of positive 27. So we know that a positive number multiplied by a positive number gives a positive product. Next, a negative number multiplied by a positive number. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 5. This works out to negative 10. A negative multiplied by a positive gives a negative product. Next, we'll do a positive multiplied by a negative. Positive 2 multiplied by negative 3. This gives negative 6. A positive multiplied by a negative gives a negative product. Finally, let's finish off our pattern by looking at a negative multiplied by a negative. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 4. Let's see what this could be. You might think that the answer is negative 12. If it were negative 12, then it would be the same as negative 3 multiplied by positive 4. But that would mean that these two calculations would give the same result, which would mean that negative 4 was the same as positive 4, which it isn't. So what could we have instead as the answer? The only other option is for the answer to be positive 12, which means that our pattern is completed.